Welcome to the Brant Phillips Show, the show dedicated to results. Now, here's Brant. Hey, welcome everybody to the Brant Phillips Show. And yes, I am Brant Phillips. And yes, this is the initial Brant Phillips Show podcast. And yes, this show is all about results. So I want to welcome everybody for joining this initial podcast. And here's what I'm going to do for you. I know some of you may know me and some of you may not. So I'm just going to let you know a little bit about myself and my story and, and uh, you know, how I've got to be where I'm at in life right now. And with the sole purpose uh, of, of telling you who I am and what I'm about, why I'm doing this podcast today, is I'm essentially I want to ethically bribe you, if you will, to listen to future podcasts and shows but also, you know, I want you to know that that I've made it my life's mission to, you know, motivate, educate, inspire, and equip others to go out and create results in life and business. So that's not who I am, and that's that's what I'm all about. So a little bit about myself: I'm a Texas boy, born and raised in uh, uh, in the Texas market, and I've spent a lot of time in Dallas, Houston, but I've also lived in Austin and. Uh, uh, Huntsville and, and just all over the state. And uh, so if, you know, those of you who don't really know me, if you were to Google my name and, and you wanted to get to know me that way, you probably see me uh, come up as a real estate investor and uh, real estate, um, you know, single family home, house flipper, own rental properties, do some coaching and mentoring, wrote some books and stuff like that. And that's probably my biggest claim to fame. Um, I love to flip houses. Um, I also have a construction business. I have a property management company and we do some development, new home construction, things like that. Um, so that's how a lot of people know me. And that's most likely why you're listening to the show and um, and perhaps if you just stumbled upon and you know, learn about me from reading a book or something like that, most likely it was real estate because that's a big part of what I do. Um, but bigger than that, you know, I don't see myself as an entrepreneur. I see myself, I'm sorry, I don't see myself as just a real estate investor. I see myself as an entrepreneur. Um, but more importantly than that, I see myself um, as somebody, um, as somebody who's, who's more importantly you know, a husband and a father uh, and a friend and a, you know, and a mentor, um, not in the, the business sense of just making money, although I love making money and helping people make money uh, like I really, really do. But, you know, I'll talk about this a little bit is that there's a deeper aspect of just making money that if that isn't uh, scored away in your life like that, that money part is really unfulfilling. And uh, so, you know, I look at at myself and all of us really as, as we're spiritual beings created by God, right? And you know that we're here to, and this is for me, like to perform the, the will and the things that I feel that God has placed in my heart. And part of what I do is to have a really, a, what I'm called to do, what I feel like I'm, I'm going to do is, is create a big impact on the world. And to really, you know, motivate and educate others, um, inspire and equip others to go out and take action to improve not just the financial area of your life, not to just increase your net worth and flip houses and own real estate property and things like that. Um, not just that, but also, you know, like I mentioned earlier, is is to to really incorporate those other areas into your life, into your business. And that's what this podcast is going to be about. Yes, we're going to talk about real estate and I'm going to um, give you guys lots of insights to getting your business going um, as an entrepreneur, as a real estate entrepreneur, just a small business owner because I've got multiple businesses. So I really like to, you know, tackle all types of aspects of business but once again, all tying these things back to the core aspects of life that I'll be discussing in this show and future shows. And it's something that I call the F4. And the F4 is a code that I live by and, and a lot of my students live by, which surrounds uh, basically the four core areas of, of our life, the four core areas of our life, which is our surrounds our faith, our family, and our fitness, which I'll, I'll just incorporate our all of our health and our fitness, 
in our finances. Those are four pillars, if you will. And, you know, one of the things that it's, it's just how I operate my life and it's based off of this code of the F4 because I truly believe that whenever one of these pillars, uh, one of these legs of this table of life, if you will, are not in order or they're not there or they're not in alignment with the others, something's going to be missing. Something's going to be off and that table is eventually going to fall. It's going to be very unstable. Um, some of you more unstable than most if you're living that life of a, a one-dimensional douchebag and all you're out trying to do is, is make money. Well, that table is going to fall, my friends. So I'd encourage you to consider to begin looking at ways that you can incorporate these areas of the F4, faith, family, fitness, and finances, to all areas of your life. And the really cool thing that I discovered uh, along my journey as an entrepreneur and and really, quite frankly, is my journey back from hitting the bottom after I'd also air quotes, quote unquote, made it. You see, who you are spiritually and who you are in your relationships with your loved ones and when in those connections, when there's daily connection in those relationships and you're experiencing love and joy and deep connection relationships, you're going to grow more focused and more clear on your why. Like, what is your motivating factor? Why is it that you're pushing hard in the business world or whatever it is that you're doing? So whatever you take control of, or I'm sorry, when you begin to take control of things in your health and fitness, for example, your eating habits, um, establishing some productive, useful workout routines, um, when you begin to experience power, if you will, in these other areas of life, guess what? It's magic, but you're going to, my experience has been, you will make more money because when you come showing up in the business world and the real estate arena, whatever area of business that you're in, you just come in more focused. You come in more connected and able to perform and create results and that's what I'm all about, and that's what this podcast is all about, all about results, creating the right results that you're truly seeking in your life, and also creating those results uh, in your bank accounts, in that bottom line, because it matters not, my friends, it matters not, my friends, um, what your bank account is if your life is utter chaos, and vice versa. You may have some, you may have being great, you know, shape and you've got the six pack abs and, um, you know, you've got things really scored away, but when you're, if you're broke and you're not making it in business, it matters not my friends. It matters not my friends. So look, my goal is to have you come back for future shows. If there's something in this message already that's resonating with you and, and, and then you're truly seeking to improve things in your life and business, I want you to come back because uh, for you know my students and those who have attended an event I, I run called Breakthrough at the Beach, when they put it together and they see that these areas, these four pillars of the F4, they're not separate. They may look separate, but we begin to find uh, that they're so intertwined together. And you know the more that we are pushing uh, all of those areas, and we're able to push them and increase them and improve them all at the same time each and every day, that, you know, the, the, the greater the results and the impact financially is going to be in your bank account, but you're growing your bank account in a way that is sustainable with the other areas of life. And, and this is essentially the message of, of having it all, of having it all. Not just going down that path of where you've got to work to become a millionaire and make all this money only to find at the end of that road that you're divorced, your kids can't stand you, you're on the, the path to have a heart attack, you're overweight, you're out of shape. And, and that's just not necessary. That's just not necessary because you can, you can go down this path of being an entrepreneur 
real estate investor, whatever it is that is in your heart, what 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 areas of uh, you know in business that that you get excited about about making money, um, that you can you can have create those business results without sacrificing the other things in your life. Okay, and this boils down to. This boils down to a commitment. Everything starts with a commitment, right? <clears throat> starts with just a commitment to say, I'm committed to improving these areas of my life. I'm, in, I'm committed to improving these areas of my business and then taking uh, simple steps every day. You can call these investments. You can call these actions. You know, if, if we're talking about your health and fitness, you're going to say, you know, I'm going to work out 15 minutes a day. And, and it may be as simple as that. It may just start with that. And, and, and then you test that and see what results you're getting. It may just be, you know, I'm going to tell my spouse that I love them every day or just do something. I'm going to send a text, uh, maybe buy them some flowers or a flower or a card or a sticky note. And you just begin to make a daily investment into those areas of your life with that commitment, with your eye on one thing, right? With your eye on the results. What do you want those, those four areas of your life to look like? And what are you committed to doing to, to uh, create those results? So that's what this F4 is all about. That's what this show is all about. And I was going to dive a little bit into my story on this podcast, but you know what? That is going to be the focus of podcast number two. So once again, thank you for listening to the show, my friends, and I look forward to helping you create results in your life and business. You've been listening to The Brant Phillips Show. To listen to past shows, get updates on future shows, and find other resources or information about coaching, visit brantphillips.com.